When couples come in, they're, they're often in attack mode or, or withdraw mode. So a lot of times when we're with our partner, we start experiencing something we don't like, we start pulling away, you know, he or she is not meeting my needs. And so we do what we can to get our needs met. And sometimes that's attacking back. And sometimes we just pull away because we've lost hope that anything can change. We don't believe that there's change that's possible. But really the primary thing I would say that I do with couples is to help them to not just communicate better, but to be with their partner in a better way. And that usually means taking some vulnerable steps, trying some things that are really hard in the context of what they've been living with for the last however many years. Uh, so I help them to say things that were hard to say. I help them say things that they've already said, but in a way that's more helpful and draws their partner closer to them. Uh, I mean, ultimately that's what it's all about, is getting back together to where we, we can be a couple instead of just two people living together. In our culture now, a lot of times people say, why would I even get married? What's the point of that? And I think a lot of times people get stuck on being happy all the time. And it's not about that, because life isn't always happy. There's pain, there's suffering, and especially when we care about people. Uh, you know, we're gonna get hurt by people sometimes, but one of the things that I wanna help couples do is not just be happy all the time together, but learn how to be together in the suffering. There's going to be heartache, and it may not be because of your partner, it may be because you lose someone in your life, or a child moves away and there's not reconciliation. I mean, there's a thousand things that can happen that aren't happy things. So I want couples to be together, grow together, and, and just learn how to get through everything and not just the happy times.